Hey guys, it's Tube Review Games or Adam, and welcome back to another one of my Fortnite top five videos. But before we get into the video, I do want to quickly mention that I recently wrapped up my Christmas gift card giveaway. I'm still working on getting all of those out, but I do have one card left over. So I thought for this video, I'm going to play a little game with you guys. So the way this is going to work is incredibly simple. What I did is I took an Amazon gift card code, I split it in half, and I hid both parts somewhere throughout the video. And all you have to do is find both parts don't worry they are not crazy hard to find they're actually quite obvious but you have to find both parts and put them together and you can go ahead and redeem your code it's first come first serve so start looking keep an eye out while you're watching the video and besides that today's video guys is going to be the five things that good players do here in Fortnite battle royale so the last Fortnite's top five i did was the five things that bad players do so i thought why not do the five things that good players do here in Fortnite? And if you guys implement everything that I mentioned on today's list, you will hands down get more wins, more kills, and become a much better player in Fortnite Battle Royale. And besides that, guys, if you could drop a like on today's video, that'd be amazing. Subscribe for more Fortnite Top 5s. And besides that, guys, let's go ahead and start off today's list. So starting things off here in the number 5 spot, simply going for the kill. Now, I know that sounds really obvious, of course, in Fortnite, the objective is to go for kills, to get kills, but when you really think about it, how often do you always go for the kill? Because when I look at my game, and I know a lot of people do this, is when they see somebody running away, they want to chase them down, they want to be certain that they'll get the kill, and who knows, maybe that person you let go or waited on had like 10 health or 20 health or 75 health, they had a scar or an RPG, and you let them go. So one thing that good players players do a lot of is when they see somebody, they shoot and try to get the kill. So this is something I've slowly but surely started implementing into my own game. And one thing that I have realized or noticed is sometimes when I see somebody running away, I just go ahead and shoot them. And sure, sometimes they have full shield and they turn on me and they kill me. That's unfortunate. That's actually a good thing though. I'm getting in more gunfights. It's going to make me a better player. But I'm surprised on how many times I just go to shoot somebody and I kill them within like two shots. And normally I wouldn't shoot because I'm like, okay, I don't want to give away my position and I want to make sure that I'm in the optimal spot, that I'm certain that I'll kill the opponent and most of the time I will just lose track of them. And that's even worse because you're running around, you know somebody's nearby, but you lost track of them. So next time you see somebody running away or just running out in the open, you might as well try to kill them because you never know, they might have really low health and that way you'll get more kills. And if they don't have low health, you can get into more gunfights and that will definitely make you a better player. So coming in at the number four spot on my list, shooting people's early builds. And what I mean by this is say you encounter somebody, you start shooting at them, and as soon as they realize that they're getting hit, they're taking damage, they start building walls. Now what you want to do is as soon as they drop down that wall, you want to spam your shots at the wall because that wall, when first placed down, has really low health and it's really easy to drop that wall and if that's all that's protecting your enemy from you and your bullets then that wall is going to disappear quickly and you can go ahead and get those final shots to kill your opponent. Now of course this really depends on your situation. If you don't have a lot of ammo is it a good idea? Maybe not but at the same time maybe you kill your enemy and he has a lot of ammo so it's a win but if you do have a ton of ammo Always spam your shots when somebody starts building. And believe me, there are times where, you know, people are placing down wall after wall, you're destroying wall after wall, and there's just that split second where they don't have a wall up and you destroy the wall and you get that last hit on them and you get the kill. So this is something that is very, very important to do. It might not work out every single time. And of course, it depends on how good your opponent is. But most of the time, when somebody first starts building, you continue to spam your shots shots, you'll definitely get a couple hits on them, and usually that will mean you get the kill. So coming in at the number three spot on my list, good players know how to land faster. Now, I'm not talking about the method of landing above the water. Don't get me wrong, it does work, but come on, landing on the edge of the map, it's not really the best thing to do. There isn't a lot of good loot spots, and the circle is usually far away from there. So landing in the middle of the map and being able to land faster than 
like everybody else is really important and I'm gonna share with you guys a really good method on how to do that. So for this method, it's really, really easy. What you wanna do is when you find the spot you wanna land at, you want to actually land just to the left or just to the right of the area you actually wanna to touch down at. And of course, it takes some time, some experimenting to kind of figure out how far to the left or how far to the right you need to land for this to work out perfectly. So when you land just to the left or just to the right of the area you wanna land at and you get low enough that your glider or your umbrella deploys, then what you want to do is you want to tilt your character towards the area you want to land and you'll be falling at an angle and you will fall, I don't want to say significantly faster, I would say it's quite subtle, it's just, it's a little bit of a difference between normally landing but it will give you just a little bit more of an advantage, you'll land a little bit quicker and it will allow you to get those, you know, early weapons and get those early kills while other people are just looting, you'll probably already have a gun and you get some pretty easy easy early kills. So coming in at the number two spot on today's list, good players are incredible at building and building quickly. And I know guys, this is something that's very obvious. You've probably heard it 10,000 times, but it's worth repeating because building is so important. I could not leave it off a list like this. And good players who can build quickly are definitely gonna survive longer and they are going to get out of situations where they should have died. This is something that is so important and it's said a lot in the community, but it's weird because a lot of people don't really build that much in Fortnite. Now, of course, Again, forts is one thing, you know, end game forts, that's another thing, but I'm talking about, you know, building when you get shot at. And I play on console, a little bit on PC as well. I notice on PC, people are a lot better at building. On console, not so much. You don't see a ton of people. The majority of the players on console aren't great at building and it's it's just something that just isn't even easy to pull off with the controller, so that's kind of why. But if you can get better at building, you're going to get out of a lot of situations, you're going to win a lot more games because you're going to instantly have that advantage when you build. When someone's shooting at you, you know where they are, you build a wall or a couple walls and a staircase, you instantly have the advantage over the person who's shooting at you. So if you get good at building, you'll definitely become a much better player in Fortnite Battle Royale. So coming in at the number one spot on my list, being able to switch weapons quickly and good players are really, really good at this. And let me kind of explain what I mean by switching weapons quickly. Say you have a sniper rifle, you take a shot, your shot hits, it depletes all of their shield, they have a fraction of health remaining, and you stand there and you reload your sniper. That's something you don't want to do. You want to take that sniper shot and immediately switch to your AR because if you do hit them, all their shields gone, they might have only a little bit of health left, and one or two AR shots will finish them. So always switch weapons after you take your shot with the sniper. Heck, even sometimes at close range of the shotgun, I'll do the exact same thing. I'll get my one hit with the shoddy, it will probably eliminate their shield, and then I'll get a couple shots into the AR, and they're dead. This is something that is so easy to pull off as well. When you first start doing it, sure, you kind of have to think about doing it because it's something you might not be used to doing, but after a you know period of time, it becomes a habit. And this is a very good habit to have. And I just think back to so many times, especially with the sniper rifle, where I take a shot and I know that their shield's gone, a good chunk of their health is gone, and I just sit there and I reload my sniper trying to get another hit when I could just switch to my AR and get the kill. So always, especially when sniping, Always take that shot, switch to your AR, and finish them off. You'll get so many more kills, and again, even with the shotgun, it can be pretty handy. So it's time for the honorable mentions part of the video, and for today's video, I only have one, and that is jumping with shotguns. If you're wondering why good players are always hopping around in close quarter shotgun battles, it's because if you jump, you have a higher chance of getting a headshot. If you aim at the person and then jump, you're most likely, hopefully, gonna to get a one-shot headshot kill both with the pump and the semi-auto and of course you want to get that one-shot kill with shotguns because why the hell not so yes good players are always jumping with shotguns 
and so should you. So there you have it guys, those are five things that good players do here in Fortnite Battle Royale and try to take as many of the things I talked about on today's list and implement them into your own game and I'm doing the exact same thing. I've already noticed a significant difference and if there's one thing that really jumps out at me that I talked about in today's video, it's just shooting at people. And it's when I normally would not shoot, now I'm shooting instead and I'm getting way more kills because half the time when there's people running in the open and I decide Oh, I don't want to shoot. They have low health and I always just get the kill and it's so satisfying But of course sometimes you'll shoot somebody they have full health and they might turn on you and kill you But again at the end of the day, it will make you a better player but Besides that guys if you enjoyed the video drop a like subscribe for more Fortnite top fives And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out